Well, congratulations. You finished the AMP beginning course and you successfully created your first AMP page. So let's go through what we've learned so far. We've learned that AMP was created to help web developers build accessible performance sites. Every AMP site starts with an AMP boilerplate. The AMP validator catches and helps fix errors. The AMP cache helps optimize and serve pages faster. Components are the building blocks of AMP sites, and the documentation helps developers find and use components. Let's look back at what we've built so far. You've created a basic AMP site with no validation errors. You've added images, a carousel, a video, and social sharing buttons to your site. Think of all the work you didn't have to do, like writing JavaScript. Instead of spending time tracking which slide your image carousel was on, or figuring out how to wrap your carousel around from the last slide to the first slide, you were able to focus on building the type of site that was most effective for your burgeoning cheese bike business. In our next course, we'll learn how to respond to user input, like clicks or key presses, how to invoke actions on an AMP component to change its state or appearance, and how to combine multiple AMP components to make more elaborate user interfaces. We'll continue to expand on Chico's Cheese Bikes shop so Chico's can continue to impress potential cheese-loving cyclists. If you want to access the Glitch repo with all the completed exercises from this course, check the link in the video description. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you again in the next course. See you next time.